Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you one of the last of my fall and harvest DIYs. Now I said one of the last. I think that this week is pretty much going to tie up the fall and harvest DIYs that I'm bringing to you for 2021 and then on to Christmas we go. I know I can hardly believe I'm saying that, but Truth be told, I love doing fall harvest DIYs, but I get so excited to move on to Christmas DIYs because this year I've got some really great DIYs in store for you that I feel like you're really gonna love and enjoy. And these are ones that I really put my heart and soul into. And so I think that they're more different than anything that I've ever done. And so did I say I'm excited about them? Because I am. So today's DIY, it is a DIY that has a great outcome using Jenga blocks and these wood ornaments. This is a wall decor DIY that I think you are absolutely gonna love. I love working with the wood ornament packs that Dollar Tree has for just about every season and holiday. And so of course, when I saw these maple leaves, I just knew what I wanted to do with them. And it included using Jenga blocks, one of my favorite DIYing items from the Dollar Tree. I can't wait to show you what I've come up with for today's DIY, fall DIY that is. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Fall and harvest Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. My blog is up and it is running. I will be posting a new blog every Monday and this is where I take you along with me on this next chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on. I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. Today, I'm gonna be using one of these here plaques. You can get these plaques in just about any season, so fear not if you can't find this one. I did remove the embellishment, you saw that, but I'm not throwing it away because it says welcome and that could be used in another DIY, so why throw it away? I'm gonna frame this plaque out with some of Dollar Tree's Jenga blocks and you can see that I'm using the back side of this plaque because why would we use the front side, the decorative side, and worry about having to cover up all that decorative stuff when we can use the back side and guess what it is? It's a blank canvas. I like to frame out these plaques with Jenga blocks because I feel like it frames out the plaque and it gives it a more finished look, a more high-end look. And so something other than just a DIY craft, it makes it look like something you bought somewhere. And that's really the look we're going for at the end of the day, sometimes. The brown I'm using today is this brown by Hello Hobby. This is a chalk paint. This is the paint that took the place of the Waverly chalk paint at my Walmart. Not gonna lie, some of the colors are starting to grow on me like this brown. Waverly didn't have a nice, rich espresso brown like this and you know I love those browns, those earth tones, those farmhouse colors. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this plaque a good base coat of that. A good couple base coats. You know what, I need to clarify, after I put the initial coat on this plaque, when I went in for the second coat, I did keep it wet because I'm gonna do that thing that I always like to do by adding another color paint to it. And I do that while the paint is wet because you can get that clouded look that I so like and it actually makes it a bit easier to sand down and smooth out so you don't get such harsh lines. Those harsh lines you get when you add a second color to the top of a dried paint already, if that makes any sense. Once it's dried, I am gonna go in with a light grade sandpaper and just soften up some of the harsh lines that didn't blend into the brown. I feel like just adding this touch of orange to the brown just kind of adds to that fall and harvest feel. Kind of a bit of a different look. We're branching out using some other colors. For this next part of the DIY, I will be using the maple leaves that I showed you that I'd be using. 
Now with these, you know that I don't like the hole in them, so using some Dollar Tree spackling, we are gonna fill those holes in. I wish that they just wouldn't even have holes in them, but I guess because they're ornaments, they need them so you can hang them. I wanna know, does anybody really use these as ornaments or do you repurpose them? Because I repurpose them all the time, with the exception of the Christmas ones, I guess. The paint colors that I'll be using for these leaves is Hello Hobby's Desert Tan, Light Mint, and Pumpkin Orange. Look at that, I've got all Hello Hobby. Never thought I'd see that. Still love Waverly though. I'm gonna color two, color or paint? I'm gonna paint, not color. <laughs> I'm gonna paint two leaves in each color. On each of the leaves, I wanted to add some stitching because I just love it. It was either stitching or distressing. And truth be told, I did distress one and I wasn't completely happy with it. I wasn't feeling it. I'm feeling the stitching, so that's what I'm gonna do to each of the leaves, which is, how many leaves is that? Six, because we did two of each color. I bet I don't even have to tell you these leaves are going inside the plaque that we framed with the Jenga blocks. And I thought it'd be fun just to kind of offset them, alternating the colors. How fun is this? What a fun piece. I love these colors. Have I told you that? These are my new favorite fall and harvest colors that I have been incorporating into my decor this year. And I am mildly obsessed with it. Okay, more than mildly. Today, I'm gonna be using these brown cardstock letters that spell out the word autumn that I cut out using my Cricut. And to adhere them onto the leaves, I will be using some of this Loctite spray adhesive. This is a repositionable spray adhesive. Cardstock is a great alternative to using vinyl. Linda is offering these cardstock letters for the word autumn. These are available in her Etsy store. They are not available for digital download, but they are available for her to cut and ship and send them to you with free shipping for the bargain price of $2. Another great alternative is just to use Dollar Tree's poster board letters and paint them. If you're interested in getting these letters in Linda's Etsy store, you can find the link to her Etsy store. Guess where? Yes, in the description box below. And to be clear, when spraying the spray adhesive on your letters, you're gonna wanna make sure that those letters are face down so you're spraying it on the back side. I know, common sense, but I'm not gonna lie when I tell you that I have, in fact, sprayed the wrong side of my letters before. And so, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and add one letter to each leaf. Isn't that cool? I love it. And again, I wanted my letters brown. That was why I used cardstock. I think Linda is offering these letters in brown, white, and black in her store. I am so not done yet. I felt like these leaves were missing something. They were missing a raffia bow. That's what they were missing. You could probably even get away with using a twine bow on this DIY, but I am that of a creature of habit. And so harvest and fall screams, guess what? Yes, raffia, not twine. So I'm sticking with raffia. When you are fresh out of sawtooth hangers, when all else fails, you go with some twine, a few strands thick and a couple of knots on the end, and you just pound it with some hot glue so it doesn't fall off the wall, and you've got yourself a good hanger to hang your new fall and harvest wall decor piece that you just DIY using Dollar Tree items. It's great, this is so budget friendly, and the outcome is amazing. Let's go take a look. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Gina Marie, who is bringing to us her half pumpkin fall wall decor piece. I am loving your spin, your twist. I love the fabric you used. I love the bow you put on it. Gina Marie, thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Who doesn't love a good wall decor plaque? Truth be told though, mine isn't on my wall. It's on the hearth of my fireplace and I absolutely love it there. I don't think I showed you all my hearth and my fireplace and it's kind of too late for that because it's a hot mess right now because I'm actually doing Christmas on it too right now. And so shame on me for not showing it to you. 
from now on, I am definitely at least going to take a picture of it so I can show you all. That really is one of the main areas that I focus on when I'm decorating for the holiday season. And I always love how my fireplace and my mantle come out. Okay, I need to stop teasing you with that, don't I? I hope you all enjoyed today's fall and harvest wall decor DIY. Why not? Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please and bye for now everybody.